Aloha Honu scientists. So today is an exciting day. Today's day five of our first peas to the table um, experiment. And today's the day we actually are going to plant our seeds according to our experimental design. So in one of the pages in the text, when they get to the part where the class is getting ready to start their pea test, uh, so they've already soaked their peas for 24 hours like we have and the text reads I planted my soaked seeds and placed the pots on a sunny windowsill with my good luck nickel next to them remember she had the nickel because it has Thomas Jefferson on the nickel and then she says that she checked her plants every day and gave them water so we're gonna stop and make sure we've got those pieces in our experimental design so if you're working along with me today, if you are able to have some seeds at your house, you're going to also need to have um, a sandwich bag, a zip top sandwich bag. Some little pots with soil. If you don't have pots like these, you can use a, a small paper cup or even a larger pot, but a little pot is the same. You'll need a little bit of soil. You can just dig up some soil from your yard. It doesn't need to be special soil. You're going to need something to measure the water in. Um, I happen to have these little 50 milliliter flasks at my house, but I guess not everyone has them. So you could use a small measuring cup or even um, a tablespoon measure. And of course, we're going to need some water. Um, we also, you're also going to need a small piece of paper towel. This is one fourth of a large paper towel. So if I take a big paper towel and I cut it the long way, and then I cut it again and I get four pieces, that's how much this is. And um, you'll need a, a Sharpie pen and a bit of tape. Scotch tape, masking tape, it doesn't much matter. All right, so remember we're going to see if the soaking of the seeds has an effect. So we're gonna have to plant for each variety, the three seed varieties, we're going to plant one soaked and one not soaked. And then we can compare if there's an effect. So if we're comparing the type of seeds, remember friends, everything else about the test needs to be the same. So it will be a fair scientific test. We'll use the same soil. We'll use the same, what else? Yep, same amount of water. How much? We'll figure that out. What else should be the same? The location, the amount of light and the temperature. Perfect, now you're thinking like a scientist. So we're gonna to wanna to keep all those things the same. So let's talk about our bag. We're gonna label the bag with the seed variety. So with our Sharpie pen, I'm gonna go ahead and label, abbreviating M, M, S, and that is for Mammoth Mountain Sugar. I'll put a piece of paper behind so you can see it. So the bag says MMS and the little NS is for not soaked. So you're gonna wanna do six bags. There are three different varieties, MMS, AS, and W. And for each variety, you're gonna need a not soaked and a soaked. All right, so you wanna go ahead and stop the video and you wanna label your six bags. Uh, when you come back, I'll have a piece of paper to make sure that you have all your bags labeled properly. So go ahead and stop the video now and get out your bags and your Sharpie and label them. All right, welcome back. So you have your six bags and they should be labeled in the bottom corner like mine. And here's our coding, Mammoth Mountain Sugar Soaked and Not Soaked. And um, sugar and, I guess this should say S-A. I put and sugar. <laughs> we can cross that off. Mrs. Rankin made a mistake. This should be S-A soaked, S-A not soaked. Okay, so you can make that change. And then Wando soaked and not soaked. So now that you have your, your bags ready, I'm going to show you how to prepare them for the seeds. Okay. Now remember, if you have pots, you don't need to do bags. I'm showing two different ways because not everybody has pots at home. So I'm going to take my quarter of a paper towel and I'm going to put it in some water. And then I'm going to squeeze out the extra water. Okay, so it's not drippy drippy. 
I'm gonna open up that paper towel. Okay, then I'm gonna uh, fold it one time, two, three. Just so kind of have like a little bed there. And then I'm gonna open up my zip top bag and put it in against the side. Just like that. I don't need to close it because we're gonna put a seed in. We'll get to closing it. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and do this with all of your six bags. So go ahead and stop the video, and make your paper towel wet, fold it, and put it into your six bags. And then come back and join me when you're ready. Okay, by now you've got um, all your bags labeled and ready to go. So now I'm gonna pick two bags out that have the same kinds of seed label. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera so you can see my desk. A little bit there. Okay, so here I have M my MMS soaked and not soaked. So I'm gonna go over here to my jar with a, one type of seed, Mammoth Mounting Sugar. So whatever type of seed you have, I'm gonna take out a soaked seed and I'm gonna put it in the bag marked soak. I'm going to put it right on top of the wet paper towel. I'm going to squish out any extra air and then I'm going to seal the top. I'll go ahead and show that to you. So that's how it looks. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the same type of seed that's not soaked. So I'm not going into the jar. This is a dry seed and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bag right on top of the wet towel. Squeeze out the air. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that same type of treatment for each of the seed varieties. So when I'm finished, I'm gonna have six bags. There's three kinds of seed, and for each seed we have soaked and not soaked. So that gives us six bags. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video now, and I'm gonna start up again when I've got all my bags ready. Okay, welcome back. I can, you can see behind me that I've got my seeds in the bags, and I have taped them to a window that gets some sunlight. So I've got one more to go, let me show it to you. So you just wanna find a window, maybe not um, that gets super hot during the day, so you might not want to face it on the south side or the west side of your house, maybe the east side or the north side. I've got a little bit of a deck outside this window so it doesn't get super bright sunlight, but it gets enough. So I have all my soaked seeds on the left and my not soaked seeds are on the right. I'm gonna add this one. So I've just closed the bag and I have them all up in the window with a little note that reminds me that we planted these on April 3rd, that's today. So um, I will make sure that you have in the little button under this video on the webpage, a link to the data sheet. So if you haven't gotten a chance to go to that yet, maybe go to that link with your parents or if you're allowed to go and by yourself print out a data sheet, then you can start filling it in. Um, you'll see that I put the planting date already on the data sheet for you. All right, now we're gonna go on to how to plant in pots. So if you have pots and soil, instead of bags in the window, you wanna stick with me. If you've already prepared your seeds, you can stop the video now, or you can just stick around to see how we do the planting in soil. All right, welcome back, home to scientists. You can see behind me, I've got the, our seeds started in bags on the window. Another way we could do this is like they did in the story, first piece to the table, which is to plant the seeds in pots. So you could do both or you could do one or the other. I'll just show you two different ways. So we're gonna need um, a bit of water. We're gonna need something to measure the water so that we have the same amount of water. I have a little beaker, but you could use a small measuring cup or even some tablespoon measures. Uh, you'll need a little soil, could be from your backyard, and some little pots like this that you could reuse, or even paper cups would be fine. So what I've done to prepare my pots, I'll show you that they're, they're kind of nestled in the other pots. This one's easy. I cut apart the um, six pots into uh, 
groups of two so that I could plant each type of seed soaked and non-soaked. I put a few um, pebbles at the bottom for drainage and then I filled it most of the way with soil. So if you have a paper cup, you might want to put a few small rocks at the bottom to help the water drain. Make sure you have some holes in it and then add about, mm, not quite to the top with soil, a little shy of the top. All right. Now we're going to make sure that we have our little pots or cups labeled. So we have each, I made a mistake, so I'll fix it right now. This shouldn't say A-S, it should say S-A. Okay, so we have each variety, Mammoth, Melting Sugar, Sugar Ann, and Wando. And then underneath I have an S for soaked. Those are the seeds that are soaked. And then on the other side, or in other cups, you'll have the same code for the three seed types with N for not, S for soaked, not soaked. So we're gonna do three seeds, soaked and not soaked, so six plantings. All right. So now I have my soaked seeds that have been in the water for 24 hours. This one is the sugar ant. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take out one of those. And then I have the dry, not soaked as well. So um, let's see, camera. I can see besides this being wet, it looks to me like it's gotten smoother and bigger. Interesting. So this is sugar ant. So I'm going to go ahead and look and put it in the correct pot. This is sugar ant not soaked. So I'm going to go ahead and just place that on the top of the soil. We'll cover it up later. And then the same seed, sugar ant, but soaked. Just sort of gently press it there. There they are. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that with the other seed varieties. I'm going to plant the soaked and not soaked for the Wando and for the Mammoth Melting Sugar. So you want to go ahead and do that yourself if you have other types of seeds. Uh, if not, if you only have one type of seed, you've already planted it, you can go ahead and move on with the video. I'll stop it here and I'll come back when I've finished planting all of the seeds. Okay, so we've got the seeds planted, soaked and non-soaked. The pots or cups are labeled so we know which is which. And now we're gonna go ahead and just lightly cover the seeds. So I like to do this over a bucket or if you're outside, that's fine too. I'm just gonna sprinkle the soil over the seeds. Just sort of spread it out a little. I'm gonna knock off a little extra. I'm not gonna push it down. Just gonna brush off the extra. So our seeds are all tucked in. Now comes something very important. One of the ways we want to make this a fair test. And that is by keeping everything except for the seed type the same. One of the ways we can do that, same light conditions, same water, same quantity of water. So now is where your measuring tool is going to come in. This is one eighth of a cup. Uh, about two tablespoons. I'm going to use a volume measurement. I'm going to use milliliters, 20 milliliters. So you want to use either about, I would say probably about four tablespoons if you're using um, tablespoons or one eighth of a cup. And I'm going to just make sure that I write down on my data sheet how much water I'm using each day. That's important. And I'm gonna go ahead and add 20 milliliters of water to each of these compartments. And notice I'm gonna pour it on gently and slowly. It's gonna come out the bottom as you can see. So make sure that you have a saucer or you're gonna keep your seeds outside where it's okay if it drips. So go ahead and add the same amount of water to each compartment if you're planting and come back and see me when you're done. Okay, great, we've got our seeds planted and labeled. We've used the same amount of water in each cell. So each day, you'll need to water your seeds. Remember, just water them the same amount. Now, if you put your seeds outside, it's possible we get some rain. But remember, they're all gonna get the same amount of rain, more or less, so that will keep the test fair. Just make sure when you're adding the water that you take care to do it the same, all right? I'm gonna place my seeds on this windowsill um, because I'm interested 
to put them right below the um, bag planting that I did earlier in the video. Now you can put them outside if that works for you. Just remember, this is gonna be drippy. So if you put them on a windowsill, you'll need a tray or something to catch the water. I'm super excited to check in on our seeds every day. I'll do a quick little video check-in and post it with a button on the Weedly Steam page. I hope you've really enjoyed setting up this experiment with me and I hope you share with me with some photos or some comments what happened with your seeds. Did soaking make a difference? I'm so excited to find out with you.